A reflection for the fifth week of Lent. The prophet Jeremiah. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 33. Perhaps the biggest trope of the Hebrew scriptures is that the story is always the same. People make a covenant with God. People break the covenant. God makes a new covenant. Rinse and repeat. Have you heard this joke before? Joke or not, there is an invaluable nugget of truth hidden within it that merits reminding. God continues and will continue to make new covenants with us every time we break them. Every time. Make no mistake, we will break the covenant with God, with a spouse or family member, with a friend, with a co-worker, doctor, or teammate, with our children. It may be just a small little break it may be a very large one. It is our human condition. We are imperfect, and we will sin, and we will choose other than God in our lives. Even still, God will always love us. God will send Jeremiah as in the Hebrew scriptures, or find some other way to remind us that there is always room for a new covenant to start fresh. The vision of Jeremiah is one of hope, blessing, and the faithfulness of God even in the face of despair and destruction. Jeremiah reminds us that God's love for us is utterly relentless. God's fidelity is so deep and desirous it is written on our very hearts. Jesus tells us that at the end, he will draw everyone to him. While we will break, we will fall, we will struggle. Still, God will want us back. God will want to draw us close, to hold us in our human frailty and imperfection, our humanity, our imperfection and our sins do not keep us from being worthy of love. We are always wanted. That kind of love can be hard for us as human beings. We suffer and are hurt often by broken promises with the very people we care for most. Indeed, as broken people who exist with other broken people, Sometimes boundaries need to be set. We have limits. People suffer at the hands of others. We are rude, unkind, and at times, knowingly or not, instruments of evil. Nevertheless, the kind of love that renews and always brings new life will sometimes unimaginably persist. With forgiveness, compassion, and empathy, we build resilience, even if the path towards it is rocky, difficult, or awkward terrain. Surely we will break the covenant, but the beauty of our story as God's people is that there are always places where we can begin to bind it back together, where we can edge out our own blindness, our expectations of one another, and offer the compassion and forgiveness that God always offers us. If we stay open to what God asks of us, to what God wants us to see, we can begin again. We can find a new start. To try once more to love each other a little better than before.